hello in this tutorial we are going to learn about overlap okay so let's get started what is overlap now during placing the steel in rc structure if the required length of a bar is not sufficiently available to make a design length this is very important okay if the required length of a bar is not sufficiently available to make a design length then lapping is done so lapping mean overlapping of two bars side by side to achieve required design length okay and here in this picture you can see the overlapping of two bars okay you can see over here as well so what does it really mean it's mean that the required length of a bar is not sufficiently available to make design length then lapping is done let's suppose we know the standard length of one bar in feet is 40 feet what 40 feet now let's suppose we have one footing over here and the length of the footing is 50 feet definitely we need to just put here 50 feet bar or in design it is important to put here the 50 feet bar but standard length here is 40 feet so how we can achieve the design length definitely with overlapping we will start right from this position and up till 40 feet okay so this is let's put the one bar with the 40 feet and we will use another bar right from this position up till here to achieve what the design length so basically this is called as overlap okay so hope you really understand now next to it let's look about different overlap values in different structure but remember one thing if these things are available on drawing use those particular things okay because those things will be according to the design but if not you can use these values as well but important one is you need to understand the drawing you need to get all of the detail from the drawing and use those particular things okay that are mentioned on the drawing first you need to read all of the drawing okay you need to just collect all of the information over there but if something is missing okay you can use uh, these standards as well now column next to column overlap column next is uh, basically the column uh, which will be connected to the superstructure column okay uh, let's suppose this is our fitting footing okay and we have one column that is right from this position up to this position uh, to connect with the superstructure column okay this is basically the column and the overlap will be done as 40 d to 50 d okay column next to column overlap is 40 d to 50 d mean 40 into dia bar and 50 into dia bar now column to column okay in superstructure we have two column let's suppose so column to column overlap or beam overlapping or overlap in the beam will be equal to 50 d 50 into dia bar and development length of a double bar a longitudinal ball here in the column this is basically development length okay this l and uh, it is uh, basically 16 d and journal overlapping is 50 d what journal overlapping you can use this value 50 d okay now next to it let's look about what is spacing okay now spacing is the distance between two reinforcement bar let's suppose we have this moin bar this main bar this main bar now the distance between two bar is called as spacing what this is spacing this is spacing this is spacing this is spacing okay now next to it how we can calculate the number of bars based on this spacing we can calculate number of bars so number of bars will be equal to span divided by spacing plus one let's pause and uh, this is our main bar okay and span of this bar definitely will be right from this position up till this position okay it could be any spin 24 okay this is basically span of this bar this is basically cut length of this bar in this direction the cut length and in this direction we will have what the span i'm talking about these bars these are main bars okay so span divided by spacing between two bars let's suppose it is a point seven five feet 
okay plus 1 will give us the total number of bars over here okay now in Spain we need to do the uh, detect the concrete cover as well okay this is just an example Spain divided by spacing plus 1 this is general formula while doing this all you need to do is definitely you need to uh, detect the concrete cover from the both side okay Spain minus concrete cover from both side okay divided by spacing plus 1 okay now next to it if you want to find out the stirrups let me simply go here and erase this one okay so this is what number of stirrups are ties okay now number of stirrups will be equal to what actual length of column or beam okay the height divided by spacing okay spacing between two stirrups are ties plus one will give you what number of stirrups as well so it is very important to understand what is spacing how we can find out number of bars and how we can find out number of stirrups as well okay so hope you really understand this session I'll see you in the next.